Hey there, welcome back everybody to Love Has a Name YouTube channel. That name is Jesus Christ. My name is Brother Brian. And in this video today on Monday, August 15th, 2022, I will be sharing with you a prophetic word uh, tag teamed by Dutch and Tim Sheets. Both of them are contributing to this. And I just love how the Lord works through everybody in such a unique way. <clears throat> more and more, you hopefully have already realized that the Lord has been giving powerful, powerful dreams about what we are to expect, how we are to pray, specifically to Tim Sheets. Over the last two, three weeks, the Lord has been giving him powerful decrees, powerful messages, angelic visitations, and so forth. So I hope you are keeping up to date. I did provide uh, one of those prophetic words in a video already uh, because someone uh, was kind enough to send me the transcript to where I could do it for you. Other than that, unless it is uh, uploaded to Elijah a list, which they get so many, sometimes it's you know a week or a couple weeks afterwards. And uh, the words are sometimes very, very, how could you say, very momentous. Like it's, it's important to get it out quick and uh, I don't always have the time to do it, but I want you to check out those videos. All right. So make sure you look in the description, <coughs> look to see how you can not only subscribe, but follow both Dutch Sheets and Tim Sheets and specifically on Tim Sheets uh, website and YouTube channel, you can see his Sunday services and the, the shorter clips that he does that lets you know what God is saying, what God is doing, because there is such a great movement of what God is doing in the spiritual realm. And everything, everything, I'm telling you, everything around us is changing and it is about to ramp up big time. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the word. And then, then we have a prophetic decree at the end. All right. And uh, so, yeah, let's get started. Father, we thank you for how you use both Dutch and Tim Sheets. We thank you for the spirit of prophecy. We thank you, Father, Lord Jesus, and Holy Spirit, for being the one who speaks to us about what you are doing, who encourages us through so many different vessels in so many different ways, Father, even personally. For you are our personal God, our personal Savior, and you love us. We thank you, Father. Be with us now. Flow mightily through this video, through these words, and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Thought you might want to check that out. Amen. Praise the Lord. It shall all be made very clear very soon. All right. This word is entitled, God said, it is finished, not I am finished. The date on this is July 26, 2022, and this is the first subheader. A force to be reckoned with. Tim Sheets says, the Apostle James was the brother of Jesus. He was the lead apostle of the first ecclesia. Ecclesia means governing body. Okay, so in essence, in simple terms, the remnant part of the overall church, the overall body of Christ, because they are the governing, meaning they are mature. They know how to decree, declare that things may be established. They walk and exercise the authority Christ has given them. And so this is why the Ecclesia is, uh, to be more specific, the remnant mature in Christ, in the midst of the body of Christ, of the general believers, okay? During the church's first spiritual war season, this is uh, the apostle James, the brother of Jesus, was the lead apostle during the first church spiritual war season. James led the church through Herod's govern, uh, GOVT tyranny. I have to speak code sometimes. <clears throat> he was a steady voice to all the other apostles throughout the book of Acts. 
James also led the Ecclesia in its first great revival, a move of God that changed the world. In the book of the Bible that bears his name, James made a statement that gives us a vital key to the success of the church, then and now. Holy Spirit said that we've entered a season of spiritual warfare, sorry, of spiritual war that will be very fierce all the way through the midterm and the midterms. And you know what the word comes after that. It begins with an E, rhymes with selections, all right? The Ecclesia must engage in this by presenting themselves before the Lord in prayer, decrees, and worship warfare. James 5.16 in the New King James says, The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. He is very clear and succinct. In order to avail much, there must be increased prayer. To win spiritual battles, there has to be an engagement in prayer. In the Amplified Translation, a classic edition, a portion of this verse says that prayer makes tremendous power available and is dynamic in its working. The Message Bible says that the prayer of a person who is right with God because of the blood of Jesus is something powerful to be reckoned with. That means you, you and I, who are walking with the Lord. To see victorious results in this war season, we must pray with a force that hell will have to reckon with. When the church prays, God promises he will engage with us. His entire kingdom, including angel armies, will do so, releasing tremendous power. This is a power that binds hell's princes and stops GOVT tyranny. A power that raises people to seats of authority while removing others. Psalm 75 verse 7 says, He takes power from one and will give it to another. This is part of what this war season is about. God taking power from those who have mocked and opposed him. When the church prays, seats of power, and authority change. God intends to give governing authority to those who will rule justly. Part of this war season also includes unseating demonic powers in the spiritual realm. As this occurs, governmental landscapes will change. God has spoken prophetically that he is now going to hasten. That means speed up his word to perform it. We will see the dreams of our hearts for ourselves, families, and the nation come to pass. Oh, thank you, Lord. St. Augustine said, without God, we cannot. Without us, God will not. Wow, that's awesome. That's the first time I've heard that. Wow. We are in a special season in which we must partner with God, with the living God through prayer. All right, and if I'm not mistaken, it is Amos chapter 3, verse 3, that says, how can two walk together unless they are agreed? So we must walk with God. Our job as believers, more so as followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, if we profess that we love him, then we follow him. And we cannot follow him without knowing his voice, we cannot know his voice without spending time with him. No matter what you're doing, you can be spending time with Jesus. Doing what you're doing with Jesus. Invite him. Involve him in what you're doing. All right? Even the things you think are simple and mundane, God loves you so much he wants to do those things with you. All right? Now, when we find out what God's will is, then we partner with him. And this is what makes living all the, all the better because we get to experience the abundant life because Jesus is the way, 
the truth, and the life. Okay, John 14, 6. We cannot experience that life that the Lord talks about in John 10, the abundant life without Jesus himself. We just can't do it. All right? So now, let's continue. And then we're going to get into what God specifically was telling Tim Sheets. Next, he says, Much is being said in today's world that opposes God and his ways. In light of these current situations, it is vital that we hear from him. I have been crying out to Holy Spirit, tell me what you are saying. In response, a word the Lord gave me several years ago began rising up in me. The words burned like fire inside of me. I knew the Lord was declaring them into this current season of spiritual war. I believe this word is going to resound through Washington, D.C., rattling the demonic babbling of his enemies. Settled law isn't settled when God says otherwise. Here is what I heard him say. All right. So this is what God is specifically saying to us. Subheader. I am not finished. I said, it is finished. This is what the Lord spoke to Tim. It is finished is what I said, not I am finished. I am not finished. I completed redemption for sins on the cross, but I am not finished building my church. Its relevance will surely be seen, shutting the mouths of the naysayers. My church will be glorious, without spot or wrinkle, reigning in my name. It will not be intimidated, scared, confused, bewildered, tepid, or spineless. Wow. I have much to finish, and I will finish it. Hallelujah. The Lord goes on to say, <clears throat> I've saved the best wine for your times, and I will now finish the release of outpouring. My power and anointing will be revealed in my manifest presence. The world will see my true power manifesting through my triumphant remnant. My glory will become demonstrab demonstrably, well, that, that's a word I don't say very often, demonstrably real in your times. From glory to to glory, to glory, just as I said. I'm not finished. I'm not finished healing blind eyes, opening deaf ears, restoring damaged limbs, re reaping the harvest, saving the lost, setting, setting the oppressed free, and delivering captives. I'm not finished saving Muslims, and Hindus, penetrating the nations with my gospel and delivering adulterers, alcoholics, and those addicted to drugs. I'm not finished healing those with gender confusion. I'm not finished with abortion. I'm far from finished. I'm not finished with America, with aligning the nations and establishing my kingdom on this earth, which means you are not finished. So much for the rapture right now, huh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. My church, my ecclesia, is not finished binding hell's plans, standing for my word and confronting demon doctrines, rebel governments, kings, dictators, presidents, judges, and evil dignitaries that mock me. My reigning church is not finished, pervading over the gates of hell. It's not finished preaching the word of truth <clears throat> and prevailing over principalities, powers, mights, and dominions. It's not finished being salt and light, lighting up darkness, reversing evil laws, treading on demons, preaching hope and deliverance to captives, 
reaping my harvest of lost individuals and discipling nations. The activities of my church don't stop when GOVT, plural, GOVTSs, presidents, governors, the Supreme Court, the IRS, you know who that is, media, professors, or hireling shepherds say they must stop. They stop when I say they stop. And I say to my church, you're not done. You're not finished, and I'm not finished. Occupy until I come. Take care of my kingdom business until I say you're finished. Overcoming church, you are my reigning ones. Call to these times. Rise in authority. Rise in my power and rule in the midst of your enemies. Yes, redemption is finished, but I'm not finished. Salvation is finished, but you're not finished. Focus on what I say and let that settle the issue. Then Tim says this. In this war season, it is imperative to stay focused on what God says. All right. Focus on what God says. Focused. Don't mind the distractions. The enemy loves to send distractions. Stay focused on what God is saying and what God is doing. We have to know what Holy Spirit is saying to the church rather than focusing on what we see occurring around us. God's word will prevail in dynamic power will be activated as we pray what he says. We must, re, we, must, we must release what James called a force to be reckoned with. There must be a realization and determination in the ecclesia that God isn't finished. He will accomplish what he has said. And we are going to faithfully and determinedly pray it through. Now, we're going to have the decree to pray together, decree and prayer, given by his brother Dutch Sheets. All right? Let's do that together. Lord, let the voice of your ecclesia be clear and strong. Give us insight, strategy, and wisdom to declare into this moment. Continue inspiring us to partner with you. The battle for America is not over. You are about to give us great victories. You are going to unseat demonic powers. They will not rule over your nation. You are about to answer long-standing prayers and fulfill prophetic words. You are about to open the windows of heaven, releasing power to change things in ways we have never seen before. Holy Spirit, inspire our hearts to engage with you. We are warriors declaring your truths and promises. <clears throat> we ask and declare these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, that was the prayer, now the decree, all right? But it's good that we've prayed that together, amen? So hopefully I paused enough for you to be able to do so. If not, rewind. Hit the gear on your YouTube app and just decrease the speed of the video. And then I'll talk a little slower. You can follow along, all right? 
Here's the decree for us to do together. God is not finished with the Ecclesia. We will be a force to be reckoned with. Hallelujah. All right. Feel free to look down in the description to find out how you can uh, get in touch, follow, and subscribe to both Dutch and Tim Sheets' social media where God has them. I pray this has blessed you. I pray you continue to be blessed through this channel as the Lord has been the one to, to command me to come on here. And so I'm just doing it at his leading and I truly am enjoying it because serving God is a delight and helping and being used to help his people also is enjoyable. So praise the Lord. God loves you. I know he's doing much in your life and he wants to do even more than we can even imagine. So I'm happy that you stayed this long. I appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and hit subscribe, turn your notification bells on, and feel free to leave a nice comment as well as hitting the thumbs up. If you'd like to have more, um, how can I say, in case you want to be more like in an exclusive, smaller group to where we can chat and so forth, I have a Telegram channel where I share things, and the link is in the description below as well. You'll have to download the Telegram chat and then come to the video, click on the link to directly join the chat. All right, don't try to find me um, any other way because that that would be like a personal message, and I am I don't have do not have the bandwidth to do that. So just come to the link. I make everything very easy. You can join that way. All right, God bless you. Stay tuned. <clears throat> the rest of this week, I have two prophetic word recaps. I will be reviewing two prophetic words from last year this month that the Lord had given me that are relevant and that will be fulfilled and manifested in its... Um, the words will be uh, manifested mainly this year, though a part of it did come to pass last year. This year, the Lord is going to bring things full circle and already... God has been amazing. Me and you all, as you all help me to, to, especially on the Telegram, to show where God brings so much confirmation to not only what the other prophets are saying, but the things that He has shared with me also. All praise, all glory be to God. <coughs> so that's it for now. God bless you. I'll see you very soon in the next video.